Hello everybody and welcome back to Stellaris where we have some goals to achieve here. I don't know how realistic some of them are, but we definitely want to push our way down here as quick as we can. And then after that, start moving up to Holden. I kind of doubt we're going to get Holden, in all honesty. We'll see what the Desican Unity ends up doing over there, but that is, I think, pretty unlikely. We'll see how that goes. And we're going to get ourselves some connections up over here and figure out exactly where these borders are going to be as well. So that's all completely fine. Space no update. real problems here. And we do need this science ship to continue sciencing. We're going to head out over this direction for now. We also need to keep in mind this likely connects up over here. We don't know that for a fact. The atmospheric patterns of Bashpat 2 are highly atypical for a gas giant of modest size. We'll leave that be for now. Our efforts to decipher the sensors picked up from the Shi Menace have paid off. And we finally made a breakthrough. While our mastery of their language may not be complete, we have managed to identify them as the Space Elf League, and are now able to communicate with them should we ever feel the need. We are being On screen, okay, so we agents. did manage to get the influence from that. That's fantastic. Greetings from the Space Elf League. Chancellor Japra Inik is our elected representative, but in truth, all citizens have a voice in our government. We strive to better ourselves through technology and by studying the alien cultures we encounter as we explore the galaxy. So they're xenophile fanatic materialists. Okay. Well, our citizens all send their regards, space elves. Fantastic. Where are those space elves at? Okay. Taking Devasa would be ideal. We are currently moving into Yomon, and we will go ahead and queue up the starbase there. So we now know where most of our borders are going to be approximately. We're in land grab mode right now. We want to grab as much land as possible. We may want to rival these guys just for additional influence. We don't know much about the Destican unity just yet. So that's definitely something to be a little concerned about. For now, I think we'll just hold off and see what we can get. We're in full-on land grab phase here, and we need to figure out where our final borders are going to be. We need to take as much land as absolutely possible. So it is of vital importance that we get Shetty. We would prefer to get Devasa. We'll see how realistic that is. We're going to get Estrion. We're still heading down this way. We'd love to get Holden, but this this system would be acceptable as well. We need to work our way up there as quickly as possible. And influence is our primary limiting factor on that front for sure. Tadaska Prime can get a planetary administration built, and that is something that we should do. We're going to finish wiping out these drones here. This will be Research no problem. Complete. Excellent. We did get our research station output, and let's just go ahead and take physics research from researchers. There we go. And the drones are out of here. We didn't lose anybody, so that's great. We're going to go repair. Fantastic. Now, this science ship is actually going to come over here and research these projects. It's going to be a little while, but that's fine. Okay. So, we just need to get these star bases going as quickly as possible. We're going to build mining stations here, and then we'll head up to Shetty. That'll be fine. We do have a good chunk of influence right now, which will help us get to where we need to be. We grow ever stronger. We're going to put in... Oh, hello. This asteroid recently suffered an impact from another body within the asteroid belt, which resulted in a slightly changed orbit and a massive crater on the surface. We'll leave that be for now. And we'll build our mining stations here and then queue up our starbase here. That's fantastic. That guarantees us this constellation. But there's still more that we can go for. We do need to get as much influence as possible, it is true. But for right now, things appear to be going reasonably okay. What have we here? The mineral composition of Bashpat 4A does not match projections. That's okay. We'll leave that be for now. 
continue heading down this direction. We can see that this constellation goes out over this way. So that'll be interesting to see where that connects up, for sure. For right now, we need to be very careful with where we put our influence. That is absolutely the case. A system has been charted. That is exactly what we're doing. We're going to need to head out over this way, of course, as well. We can survey over here. Okay, so this mining station is almost done. So far, they're not really grabbing the systems that we want to take. So that is beautiful. Okay, we have run into hostile aliens down here. The Pi Menace. We'll go ahead and work on that. Excellent. And what do they got going on over here? Oh. Okay. And we're out of there. <laughs> sure. So nobody's going to be getting through that anytime soon. So this is actually fundamentally a dead end. You can see they did grab our doked over here. That's fine. Coast Light, we're completely okay with. We can take that. We're going to be finishing up our mining station here momentarily. Our sensors have detected a particularly clear repeating signal from the Pi Menace that seems to offer our linguists excellent material for codifying their language. They're optimistic that we'll be able to make some significant progress on the back of this stroke of luck. Excellent. Two insights. Sounds good. Have we finished the Universal Translator yet? No, not for another 20 months. Okay. Well, that'll be a bit. We are heading up to Shetty, and that's great. And we are moving on over to Coastlight. This is high, high priority that we get this. Like, extremely high priority. Our sublight speeds are not great, though. So there's definitely some issues there. On our capital, we currently have negative one amenities as well as a worker unemployment. We should probably get ourselves gene clinics on our capital here, and that will produce amenities as well as pop growth speed. Sounds good. We're going to hop in over here shortly, and we're really hoping that they're not already here. Although their dwellings on habitat stations would suggest an advanced society, Envoy Ishtart is unsure whether we're indeed dealing with an intelligent life form. They seem unremittingly hostile, so much so that a stable society seems almost unthinkable. Even during our brief period of investigation, we've observed several displays of pure barbarism. They seem to have a language, but our linguists are still working on deciphering it so we can make sense of this display. Disturbing. We must be watchful. Indeed we must. So we're going to jump on over here. And helps if I unpause. <laughs> that is definitely going to help. Okay. We don't see their ship here. Beautiful. So this sets up a border here. We want to continue heading over this direction. We see that they've claimed this system up here. That's fine. No huge concerns there. And we have begun our construction on this starbase here. Cool. Holden has not yet been taken. Again, we need to be concerned about this constellation. And we can see that the space elves are actually taking Ishtram. So let's go ahead and back off from there once we're done. And we're going to come all the way back to this constellation. This constellation is elevated in priority at this time. And Devasa, we're going to need to move to, but we do not have the influence to take just yet. So we should actually build our mining stations here first and then move up to Devasa. Cool. Again, we're going to have to make sure that we cut them off over here. We'd love to take Damsath. I'm not sure that we're going to realistically be able to do that. We grow ever stronger. Ah, the curators. Yes, we want to extend our deal. Absolutely. Okay, we are going to grab our mining and research stations over here since we are short on influence to build us our starbase in Cedar, And then we'll head on up to Cedar. If they leapfrog us here, we're going to be upset. Now, we should close borders with these guys. Actually, our default is close borders because we're xenophobe. Perfect. Tadaska Prime could use an upgrade of the planetary administration. I feel like I already did that. But maybe I didn't. Okay. <laughs> sure. That's fine. 
So no real issues currently. We do have two science ships that are not present. Ah, yes, that would be why. Okay, so we're gonna move up to Devasa. Having identified, or rather, having decoded what counts as a language among them, Envoy Ishtart has identified the Pi Menace as a nomadic civilization known as the Slurpinor Raiders. They occupy a large number of space stations in and around the Zafa system that house the bulk of their massive numbers in crowded and squalid conditions. Despite this, or perhaps because of it, they seem to have developed a strong martial culture. Life in the Cold Void has become second nature to them, and they are very adept at space warfare. There is no Slurpinor central government to speak of. Instead, they're divided into several different factions that vie endlessly with, another for re with one another for resources and respect. Given their large population and the shipbuilding capability of their stations, this constant infighting is the only thing keeping them from growing into a significant threat to galactic peace. 29 influence, fantastic. Outsiders, we are the Slurpinor. Unlike the civilized star nations of the galaxy, we have no single master to lord over us, but I have been chosen to convey this message to you on behalf of all of the houses. Do not try to impose your soft and effete ways upon us. You may freely send your alien ships into Slurpinor territory, but do not expect them to return. Our warriors will welcome the diversion, however. Transmit on this frequency only if you wish to offer tribute, or if you have need of mercenaries, as well as the needs to pay for them. Indeed. So that's fine. We'll uh, deal with them eventually. Now is not the time for that, obviously. We're up to 91 influence, which is great. We are then going to immediately build our starbase at Devasa. That is high priority for us. This is a dead end, it looks like. Fantastic. So that guarantees us all of this over here. Then we need to head over to Damsath. Okay, they just took that. Fair enough. Well, Epsilon Indy is the next highest priority for us as like a toehold into this constellation. It's a great defensive position. We'll see how much of this constellation we end up getting. That's fine. No movement over here for Holden just yet. Ooh, nice progress there. I like it. And at this point, yeah, this is fine. The sensors pick up unexpected activity from an isolated point on Astrakhan 6's frozen surface. Okay, that's fine. We'll just go ahead and survey Infadrantris. We are starting to run out of borders to push with our surveyors, so that is actually a good thing. That is a very good thing. This science ship needs to continue to science, and so we shall. Excellent. So we'd love to take Holden. That is, like, super high priority for us. We, grow ever stronger. we do get another tradition here, and we need to choose another tradition tree. So we could take any of these. Adaptability might not be okay, or might not be terrible. Monthly food output. Honestly, I don't feel like food and habitability are going to be a problem for us. Diplomacy is probably not really what we're looking for. Right now, expansion might be the way to go. Starbase influence cost reduction and pop growth speed, starbase upkeep and empire sprawl reductions, all of that is really good. We're going to go ahead and adopt expansion for right now. This construction ship definitely needs to build mining stations. We see void clouds up in Formalhout, so we're not going to be going up there anytime soon. Let's head over to Epsilon Indy next. Prototyping of the so-called Universal Translator has finished in success. Although the results fall short of the boldest promises of our researchers of a device capable of instantly translating even unknown languages, it is a massive improvement over existing translation systems. Already, there are promises of vast boons as barriers to communication with the Rontor sect and other alien acquaintances are lifted. This will come in handy. That is actually quite good. Neat. Okay, so we've got quite a lot of territory here to settle. We're not going to be looking to external areas for a while, that's for sure. It's a desert world over here. What we really could use is an additional colony, but we're not really able to do that at this point. That's fine, to be clear, but... We're going to be having some early to mid-game issues, I would say. Until we can get terraforming.
That's kind of a top priority for us-ish. A top-ish priority, I think is the way I, that I would term that. So, yeah, that'll be interesting. We're heading up to Cedar as soon as we're done building these stations. Intellectual booty. Ah, physics research from researchers finishing up. That's great. I think we're going to go for the fusion reactors next. That'll be fine. A system has been charted. During its survey of Epsilon Indy 2, the damp magistrate of the Six discovered a previously unknown strategic resource dubbed Zero. It's an extremely rare aerosol of exotic particles that appears to have been deposited here through a meteor impact, but its true origin is a mystery. If ingested by psionically gifted individuals, this aerosol should act as a very potent and potentially addictive drug that enhances PSI abilities. While we do not yet possess the means to extract this resource, we should seriously consider establishing control over the system for future exploitation. I don't know if we're going to go the psionic route yet. I haven't decided that. But for now, that we are planning to take that system, so that'll be completely fine. We need to grab as much territory as we can over here. And we're cut off over here. This is perfect. This is exactly what we want. This is a dead end over here, so we don't need to rush this. This needs to be a rush, and we need to rush up this way and take whatever we can up here as well. So that'll be fine. We're going to head to Epsilon Indy next, and we will just go ahead and queue up that construction of the Starbase. Okay, so we've got our mining station and one more research station over here. We can see that they have this over here, but they are not going to be able to, to go through this for a good long time until they get jump drives, which <laughs> will have other concerns when they get jump drives. So what do we want here? Research labs is usually a pretty good thing to go for when you don't have anything else to go for. We'll just do that for now. This science ship needs to survey up over this way, and we'll just survey as much as possible over here. Sounds good. So you can see that we're in kind of an awkward spaghetti shape. <laughs> there is, of course, a reason for that, and that reason is we're attempting to cut off the AI as much as possible. We don't want them to expand in certain directions, like this way. We don't want these guys to expand this way. We don't want these guys to expand this way or this way, which we don't necessarily know that this connects over here. I'm assuming it does. And that is an assumption that we should be making. We should absolutely assume that it connects there. If it doesn't, then that's great for us. If it does connect, well, that's kind of a worst case scenario for us as far as this goes. Eh, it's fine. We're, we're not super upset if this connects over here. We can at least grab this, we're hoping, but we'll see. We definitely grabbed a couple of unnecessary systems over here before we knew what our borders were actually going to look like. So that's something to uh, be a little sad about, but we'll build our star, star base up in Cedar and just make our way up this way. Excellent. This science ship, we're actually going to send up over here. We want to get more information on what's going on in this area. So this is completely fine so far. We have quite a large section of the galaxy cut out for ourselves, and that's fantastic. Corvette hull points finishing up. We absolutely want ion thrusters. We are very, very slow at sublight. We already know that. We're going to continue to survey these areas up over here. There is this Gaia world here, but we'll come back for that. We've received a communique from a previously unknown spacefaring empire that call themselves the United Tizru Confederation. They listened in on the communications of another empire. Okay. Hegemonic imperialists. Where are they? Out over on the other side of the Space Elf League. Okay, that'll be fine. No problem there. In fact, that should be completely fine. Playing as a xenophobic democracy is actually kind of funny. I like it. Here? Some kind of unknown structures are floating in this gas giant's upper atmosphere. They appear to be using aerostatic lift to remain buoyant. We'll leave that be for now, though. We'll come back to it if that's within our borders. You can definitely see they've taken this system over here. 
We want to take Epsilon Indy, and we are going to get that. Astrichion, we'll see. We'll see if we get that one. We probably will. Still no movement over here into Holden. That's really good, actually. We're very happy about that. Go ahead and get the research stations here and then move into Astrichion. We are short on influence at the moment. This science ship, research we are going complete. to send up to Yidixa to survey. We'll just start clearing in, or filling in rather, some of these gaps. We can see that they are definitely making some movements up here. That's fine. Food processing facilities have finished up. That is good for us. And we're next probably going to go for off-world trading companies, actually. We're going to want to start getting our internal trade going, although we're xenophobic, and so external trade is unlikely to be a thing. We do want to get food processing facilities here. Here's the question. A system has been charted. Okay. Food from farmers and anglers. Cool. Yeah, that'll be fine. I was wondering if if food processing facilities would increase the catalytic te technicians. It does not. That would be kind of surprising if it did, if I'm honest. Rather surprising, in fact. So we're going to continue to push in over this way. We grow ever stronger. And we're going to grab Cedar soon enough. If they leapfrog us, then that's a cast a spell eye for us. If they, if they leapfrog us and take Zorf. That's a Desiccant Unity, though. So, we're closed borders. They shouldn't be able to leapfrog us. So, that's good. We are, of course, going to continue to come out over here. This is the only frontier at this point that we don't know where it terminates. So, well, technically this over here as well. We don't know where this terminates either. So we need to make our way towards both of those and get some information on what's going on over there. This construction ship does need to build its starbase in Astrichian. And so we shall. That should guarantee us some Maelstrom here, which will get us some dark matter. We'll see how much of this we can get. If we can get Kimithar, that would be amazing. I think the odds on that are maybe not great. This science ship, of course, we want to continue filling in these gaps. So that'll be fine. We grow ever stronger. The Rontor sect has a... Hang on a moment. I missed this somehow. I completely missed this system. This is not a dead end over here currently. Okay. Okay. We'll have to deal with that. Sensors report a shipwreck of unidentified origin has been sighted in order in orbit of Kimithar. We'll research that, and these guys, as soon as they're done here, we're going to have them come over this way. Somehow, I missed that this system existed, or rather that this system connected to this one. We grow ever so that's a potential issue for us. We're going to build our mining and research stations over here. And this construction ship is going to build its mining and research stations as well, as we work up our influence a little bit. Okay. So far, so good, although this miscalculation here does hurt us. Our crew aboard the Damp Magistrate of the Six report that the Chemithar shipwreck appears to have been the result of an unexpected geomagnetic solar storm. The supply ship suffered a complete loss of life support systems and sus sustained inoperable damage, drifting until it em entered Kemithar's gravity well. There are no survivors. The ship's cargo hold does indeed contain a notable amount of minerals. However, the captain of the damp magistris magistrate of the Six <laughs> cautions that the construction indicates space elven design. It is highly likely that the minerals belong to the space elf league, and they may be displeased should we lay claim to their shipment. We don't need minerals right now. We want influence. Influence is more valuable to us. So that is excellent. We'll return their minerals to them. That is fine. And we'll see if they uh, show up anytime soon. For the time being, we do want more information out over here and over here. We definitely do need to get a construction ship down over here. The Space Elves are happy, and we get a favor and a hundred influence. That will actually help us tremendously. 
We can immediately queue up these two constructions. And that's great. With that, it is time to put a cut in here, so I'm going to go ahead and do that. And next episode, we are going to actually get ourselves a third construction ship. We're not going to have it for very long, but we're going to get it and send it out this way to get a bit of a cutoff going over here. You can leave your offerings to the engagement gods in the form of likes, comments, subscribes, and bell ringings. And I will see you all next time. What do we want here? Research alternative? Actually, moat harvesting traps and hyperdrive twos, both of those are pretty good. We're going to go for moat harvesting traps for now. See you all next time.